today we would like to present about the annual report of the both company Prahim Morris Berhad and the Life Forest Industry Berhad. Before I proceed, I would like to, uh, to introduce myself. My name is Haji Amin Bahari and this is my group member. And my name is Fatih Nushamira Natasha Binti Shafir Bahri. My name is Nick Hazim Bendi Badrullah Sahab. My name is Nur Izzati Binti Hazmani. Tell you about the background of the Brahim Holdings Berhad. Okay, Brahim Holdings Berhad is a global and national leading ally in fat gathering. It also serves 33 international commercial allies at Mars, Asia, and Manila Air. They have a four different business activities using the food and beverage services, managing services, warehouse and other services, and other services. Next is company's background of Lion Forest Industry Berhad. Its business is currently focused on the distribution of building materials, petroleum, and automotive products in the domestic market. Lion Forest Industry trades in and distributes building materials and steel products in Malaysia and internationally. regarding the consumer industry. It's a category of the stocks and the companies that relate to the directly sells the items and purchase the items from, uh, by the consumer. And it is involved with the food productions, packaged goods and automobiles, in also known as the finished goods. Next, I will explain to you the economic contributions to the consumer industry. Firstly, it's providing the stable source of employment. And second is relatively high payments to salaries and benefits and third growth in exports with the expanded sales in the international market. About the literature review of the industrial product. Okay, industrial product is a machinery manufacturing plants, material and other goods or components for use or consumption by other industries or firms. It can be classified as either production goods or support goods. Okay, the contribution of the industrial product for the economy. It is necessary for modernization of agriculture because without the industrial product, certain countries will not achieve modernization. I will explain to you about the certain requirement and for seven, which regarding the disclosure. Okay, both of the company are exposed to the similarities which are the foreign currency risk, interest rate risk, liquidity risk, and credit risk. But they differ in the uh, in terms of the cash flow risk and also the interest rate risk sensitivity analysis. Okay, for the foreign currency risk, both of the company are exposed to the exchange rate fluctuations. Next. Okay, uh, both of the company also are exposed to the credit risk which they are exposed to the defaults from their receivable to make a repayment to them. Next. Okay, regarding the differences, uh, for the Brian Holdings Berhad does not applicable, does not apply the cash flow risk. Meanwhile, the Lion Forest Industry Berhad apply the cash flow risk. Okay. I will explain the statutory requirements regarding the MFRS2 share-based payment. Okay, firstly, for the Brian Holdings Berhad, this company is not adopted the MFRS2 and there is no transaction on the share based payment in their annual report for the year 2017. Meanwhile, the Lion Forest Industry Berhads, they recognize and measure the share based payment in their annual report for the year 2018. It allows the employee to acquire shares in the company and it recognized as an employee part in the statement of profit or loss. And it also measure at the grand date that taking into the account if any the market vesting conditions. Meanwhile, if there is none market vesting conditions, it will include in the assumption that the options will be expected to become accessible at the vesting date. Paragraph seven, revenue contracts with the customer of the salary requirements. Okay. Both of these companies have the similarity on the recognitions and the measurements of the revenue. Firstly, they recognize the revenue when it is probable that future economic benefit that associated will flow into the entity whenever the, there is a revenue and the revenue can be measured reliably. Meanwhile, it also measures the revenue and the fair value considerations that received in the ordinary course of the business. Next, both of these companies also have the differences 
in uh, recognize the following revenue. For example, the Brahim's holding more height, they recognize the revenue such as warehousing revenue, logistic, catering, and related services that related to the revenue, interest income, and also dividend income. Meanwhile, the Lion Forest Industry Berhad, they recognize the following revenues such as the dividend income and revenue from the service. Next is MFRS 119 Employee Benefits. Both of the company have short-term employee benefits which pay wages, salaries, paid annual leave, bonuses and non-monetary benefits. Uh, for differences, uh, for Lion Forest Industry Berhad, those uh, wages and others are accrued in the year which the associated services are rendered by employees of group and of the company. Short-term accumulating compensated absence are recognized when services are rendered by employees that increase their entitlement to future compensated absence. For Brahim's holding were high. Those wages and others, they are benefits that are expected to be settled within 12 months after the end of financial year, it was recognized in respect of employee services up to the end of reporting period and are measured at the amount of expected to be paid when the liabilities are settled. Next is MFRS 126, Accounting and Reporting by Retirement Benefits Plans. Both uh, similarities of the company are both company applying defined contribution plans under MFRS 126 where they make contribution to the employee provident fund and charge to profit or loss in the financial year throughout uh, the financial year which they relate. For the differences, Lion Forest Industry Berhad, the group for incorporated subsidiary companies and its eligible employee are uh, made contribution to their respective countries' statutory pension scheme. Such contributions are recognized as expenses in the profit or loss. Next, for Ibrahim Holdings to Jabberhat, the prepaid contributions are recognized as an asset to the extent that a cash refund or a reduction in the future payment is available. Next is MFRS 9, which is Recognition and Measurement. Okay, both companies have three similarities, which is in payment, financial liabilities and their equities and one different which is financial asset okay for the in payment both company requires an expected credit loss model okay the expected credit loss model requires an entity to account for expected credit losses and changes in those expected credit losses at end of each reporting period to reflect changes in credit risk since initial recognition. Okay. For the financial liability, it can be classified as fair value through profit or loss. The value changes due to own credit risk should be recognized directly to other comprehensive income. Okay, and the last similarities is equities. Investment in equity instruments are measured at fair value through profit or loss with an irrevocable option at inception to present changes in fair value in other comprehensive and for their only differences which is financial asset Lion Forest Industry Berhad the instruments that have contractual term of the financial asset give rise on specific dates to cash flow that are solely payment of principal and interest of on the principal amount of standing are measured at fair value through other comprehensive income. And for the Ibrahim holding market, their financial assets are measured at amortized cost only if the entity is holding is to collect contractual cash flows and the cash flow represents principal and interest. Explain to you about the MFRS 132 presentation. Alright? Assume that both company, Lion Forest Industry Berhad and Brahim Holding Berhad adopt MFRS 132 since both company identify the financial asset, liability and equity instrument in their annual report. Regarding the voluntary disclosure, we see the corporate social responsibility. Both of the company have a similar objective, which is 
to help the community to support the non-profit organization by giving the charity but they conducted the different activities next okay, regarding the environmental issue both of the company have a similar objective in a uh, concern for the environmental issue which is to ensure that their actions their operation is will giving the meaningful impact to the environment but both of the company are conducted a different action in order to ensure the operation and will give a minimal negative impact to the environmental issue. 